Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we'll see how to draw the sum in isometric. Now we have a circle. Now over here I'm explaining you four center method. But wait, this is not just about four center method. In this we are going to discuss various method how to draw isometric circle and which one is the accurate one. So I hope everyone knows how to draw this four center method where you draw longest diagonal then you mark midpoint of those two opposite side and you join to this point this is point 1 and you draw arc like this see this this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 so you take 1 to this radius from 2 again you draw curve See like this. Then from 3, I am just marking the midpoint. Then from 3, we are drawing curve. And from 4. So this is 4 center method. This is what most of the people are aware about this. Now there is one more method that's called ortho four center method. Now that's based on center line method which I will explain you in some other video. Right now what you do from this corner to this midpoint you draw arc. I'm drawing here only so you will know the difference. Take from this point to the midpoint you draw arc. So you will get point P and Q on that longest diagonal. See this is See, this is P, this is Q. Okay. Now, what you need to do? You need to draw 60 degree from P. See this? With horizontal, like this. And 60 degree from Q. They will intersect. And that intersection is point number 5. So, remember we are doing ortho four center method so this is point 0.5 same way you'll get point 0.6 above see I'm just trying to draw the most accurate way uh, ellipse how you can draw ellipse in isometric so you draw 60 degree so once again I repeat um, you need to draw as a student you will follow what your teacher are doing but this is I'm just curious that can we have a better method so this is better method accurate one I can say that so we have 5 6 pq now what you need to do you take from 5 to this radius where the intersection is there and you draw arc so if you see a line right a slight difference you won't be able to make out that much in this but when you will draw you will realize and the down there is hardly any difference this is what I've realized now from P when I'm drawing this see now you'll see the difference it's very apparent see the curve and from Q now I'll show you coordinate method so this is I'm just drawing it again okay so we are done with this ortho 4 center method 5 6 pq now I'm doing coordinate method in that what I need to do I need to divide this line into equal parts so I'm marking 5 5 5 mm and I'll be drawing horizontal line so let me tell you one thing that coordinate method is the most accurate one I guess when they started doing isometric earlier they used to do it by coordinate method only then someone came up with four center method so now by the way all these are my views so 
from center see this you draw center line so I'm doing coordinate method so now I'm marking 0 0.5 0 0.5 on that diagonal and now I will draw lines like how I've done it over there the same same lines I'll be doing it over here so if it is accurate then that distance has to be same so that we will check So it will match with which one, the four center method or ortho four center method. Let, let's take this as point one. If I'm in below and I will mark point M and N. See from one, I'll take this distance on both the sides. It is same. And from one, you cut it here and you cut it here so if you see it is matching with the ortho four center curve see this outside curve it is matching with this this is M and this N is inside one not the outside one inside one if you remember when we were doing that curve I said the lower one see this M N If you see one more time, I'll just show you one more. From point 2, I'm taking this distance. And from here, when I'm going to cut, see it is cutting outside. And here it is inside. So this is UV. So this point is U and this point is V. So coordinate method and ortho four center method they have exact same point but four center method doesn't have so this video i have done it based on my personal learning i don't want to create any confusion regarding four center method you please continue doing four center method but it is just my view that coordinate method or ortho four center method is accurate than four center method but you are free to use whichever you like. Thank you.